So here I've got a regular project that's running Node CI uh, for all my tests. And there's certain situations where I don't want the CI actually to be triggered. Uh, perhaps I'm going to be <laughs> cascading a bunch of commits one after the other, or I'm watching my build minutes uh, kind of tick up, and I want to keep an eye on that as well. Um, so recently, GitHub shipped this feature where you're able to skip CI uh, based on a commit message. Uh, I'm going to create a quick readme update. Uh, I've been wanting to actually update my readme with some notes on how authentication works for my application. So I'm going to do that right now. And then the keyword I'm going to add into my commit message, which is skip CI. And now if I go to my actions tab, you can see I only just have one CI push and that was my original failure. Um, so I'll definitely work on that later. But I did want to show you what it looks like when you open a PR as well. So so here I'm going to open up a code space. Code space is a virtual environment that gives VS code in the browser connected directly to your GitHub repo. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create another change in the readme and create a branch as well as push that branch up to my repo. And now with this branch on my repo, you can see the CI again has not triggered. And that's because I added the skip CI keyword in the commit message. Now, one more thing I just want to point out, if you do have protected branches and you do skip CI, those protected branches will make the CI hang. So here's an example of me with a Vercel deployment, which is actually running, but my integration tests on Cypress are not running because those are being skipped and I'm requiring those at the time of PR. So keep that in mind if you do enable this. Uh, and then finally, I should probably show a passing step of the CI because I've seen so many failures so far. And then finally, I just want to point out that this feature came through the GitHub community forms. And if there are aspects of GitHub Actions that are missing inside the feature set, definitely head over to the GitHub community forms. It's github.community and drop us a note about how you're using Actions and how you would like to use them.